say there's a thin line between love and hate. But where do you actually find that line? On today's case, Mr. Bell says he thinks he's found the line, and now his marriage is hanging by a thread. He says his wife's effortless insensitivity, casual negligence, and sneaky antics have him in my courtroom hoping to find a solution before it's too late. Can Mrs. Bell repair the damage to their marriage? Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Bell versus Bell. Thank you very much. Mr. Bell, Mrs. Bell. Mr. Bell, you say three years ago you married Mrs. Bell hoping to grow old together. But today you've come into my courtroom ready to end this marriage. Yes, Your Honor. And Mrs. Bell, you say you remain committed to your husband and your vows. You are hoping today you can begin to heal the damage your marriage has obviously suffered. Yes, Your Honor. So let's see what has got us here today. Mr. Bell, you brought this case. Why are we here? Your Honor, I'm here because I want to divorce my wife. I feel like she's inconsiderate, she's careless, and I'm really just sick of it. I'm, I'm done. I'm ready to co-parent our child, and I'm, I'm done with it. You know, I, I'm looking at this case, and you all have been together for four years. Mrs. Bell, you heard what your husband says. He's ready to call an end to this marriage. You've been married only three years now. What's going on? I'm here, Your Honor, because I want to save my marriage. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to save my marriage. I love my husband. I love my kid. And divorce is an option for me. Okay, so Mrs. Bell says that there is something worth saving. Mr. Bell, what brings us into divorce court today? <sighs> well, Your Honor, it's just... It, it's kind of hard you know, going through what we're going through. You know, when we first met, you know, she was, she was the love of my life. You know, first time I laid eyes on her, I knew I had to, I knew that I had to have her in my life. Uh, we met, I was out celebrating my birthday, and she was out celebrating her birthday with one of her colleagues. And, you know, our two parties, they just decided to join together, you know, so we're all mingling. But before we left, we decided to get some, you know, exchange contact information so we'd be able to talk to each other a little more. You know, we scheduled the first date. She stood me up on the first date, you know, so that was already a red flag there. I was like, okay, you know, well, everybody deserves a second chance. So, you know, we moved past that, and, you know, everything was going good. We decided to get married. So we got married, and a couple months after we got married, she goes to jail. And at this time, she's six months pregnant. What in the world? So I just don't, I don't I'm not understanding. I don't know what's next, and it's just, it's hard. It red, flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. You know, on paper, Mrs. Bell, I was excited when I read, engaged in January 2019, got married in February 2020, and then had your baby. So I was thinking, oh, this young couple, I thought, okay, we yeah. doing it what we supposed to do. Yes, yes, Your Honor. And it, everything started off, you know, like I say, it was good at first and then it wasn't. What in the world was going on with you, Mrs. Bell? I was driving and I got pulled over for a speeding ticket. They took me to jail because I had an outstanding warrant for something that was paid with the attorney. How long did you stay in jail? Not even three hours. Because I had to go he... out there and pick her up. I had to leave work to go get her. Now, you know good well, though, that some... I mean, the way you told the story, Mr. Bell, I thought that the child almost had the baby while she was in jail. <laughs> no. Okay? I mean, she got pulled over no. on a moving violation. You know, my husband do those cases every single day. Okay? You go in, you pay the fine. Correct, Your Honor. I mean, but it might have given you an uh-oh feeling. I do give you that credit. It definitely did, because, you know, we were fresh into this thing, and I'm in the Army at the time, okay. so now I have all of my, my superiors looking up to me like, you know, well, Belle, who did you marry? What you got yourself into? Well, you know? she only got a speeding ticket. This is the time where you're supposed to have, you know, her backing. If your boy's got something to say, then you're supposed to say, it was a speeding ticket, okay? But I still feel like, you know, she's very inconsiderate. Because... So tell me what you mean about that. So, you know, um, I've been going through some things, you know, health-wise, and I had a doctor's appointment that we both knew about for, you know, months in advance. Mm -hmm. They told both of us that we both had to be there. Someone had to drive me there. Yes. And to drive me home, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, we both knew about the appointment, and on the day of the appointment, I'm calling her, I'm texting her, you know, I'm not getting no response. So I ended up having to call one of my buddies to come, you know, to come drive me, and it was already embarrassing because of the procedure that had to be done. I didn't want nobody to know what was going on. Mm -hmm. So you, I wanted my wife to be there. Tag your rip, Mrs. Bell. Your Honor, I'm a hairstylist. I, I, work, I don't work a nine to five. My client came late, and as soon as my client came late, I let him know and I ran over. But who's more important? What is more important? Ms. Bell, 
Your client can wait. Cause I'm I'm a hair girl, uh, exhibit A. Uh-huh. Your client can wait. And any client that doesn't understand that, that's on the client. Yes, Your Honor, but that's our income. If I don't do my client, then we won't eat. Okay, one client, if she can't wait... I had numerous clients, and the first client was late, which made me... But this was supposed late to be... ...on my other two clients. ...through sickness and in health. Mrs. Mrs. Bell, I... you knew where you were supposed to be on that day. You came... You cannot put clients back to back. That's it. See, this is the thing about marriage. Yes, ma'am. You have no choice but to compromise with each other. Period. Yes. And another yes. problem. So, she wanted this car. You know, I'm all, I'm all for it. You know, I'm a car man. I like cars. But I told her, like, babe, you get this car, you're going to be paying for this car. I'm not making no payments. I will put the car in my name, but everything is on you. Yeah, sure. I can do that. That's Was fine. that the agreement? Yes, ma'am. It was... I set the car payments up on weekly um, automatic payments. He can check it just as well as I can check it. And it showed that the payment went through. What because were the ramifications of it, Mr. Bell? I have to, because within six months of having a car, I've had them calling, you know, leaving voicemails, you know, uh, the cars, the, pay the payment is laid, the payment is due. And I'm like, yo, you know, what's going on? That dropped my score from a 680 to a 535, Ooh. You're, and now you're I'm just like, what can I do with this? I can't, we can't buy a house with this, with this credit score like this. I'm the one left to pick up the pieces your Honor, while I, you're still I con out I contacted able to do what them. you want. I contacted them and had them su uh, submit the documents showing that the payments were taken care of, and they submitted everything, and the points, his credit score went back up. Okay. But, in the and meet, they deleted all those. While you were those. doing that, well, while you were doing that, were there not other things that needed to be taken care of? that we needed the credit score for? Yes, yes, we did need the credit score for the house, but I did what I had to do on my end. That's not my fault that they didn't submit the stuff correctly. Unfortunately, my cousin died. I had his ashes and a necklace that I had. She had the necklace on when she went out, but when she came home, it was gone. I did apologize to him because I did have the necklace on and I don't know what happened to the necklace. No apology, nothing could amount to that because that was a, a very special piece you do realize there's not a daggone thing I can do to help you on this. So, Mr. Bell, I'm hearing what Mrs. Bell says. She was not irresponsible at that time. She fulfilled her obligation. She paid the payments on time. And they were not credited correctly. Yes, ma'am. When she found out they were not credited correctly, she did what was necessary to make the correction, and the correction was ultimately made. This is something that happens in families all across America, but that doesn't sound like it was Mrs. Bell's intention to cause a problem to y'all's financial situation. But, Judge, I, I just... I feel like it was careless because of the way that I had to keep reminding her to do so. Also, speaking of being careless, there was this... So, I have my cousin. My cousin was one of the, the closest people to me. Okay. I mean, the light... Walk into a room, it just lights up. You know, one of the happiest people you can meet. Unfortunately, my cousin died. Um, not, well, I'm so sorry to hear that. won't talk about, you know, too much into it, but I had his ashes and a necklace that I had. It was uh -huh. in a charm, a lion charm that I had. And, you know, she liked the necklace, and yeah, I was like, okay, well, yeah, you know, you can wear it as long as I'm with you. As long as we're together, you can wear it. Okay. Just don't wear it without me because it means a lot to me. Fair. So, you know, one day I, I wake up, and I'm looking, I'm looking around, I'm like, where's my necklace? Where's my necklace? I'm asking her, like, babe, have you seen my necklace? She's like, no, I haven't seen it. Okay, cool. So, one, she goes out with her friend, and she comes back in the house, you know, sloppy drunk, da 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 This was prior to me looking for my necklace. And it's funny because I was scrolling on social media and I saw her on that day with the same clothes on, with the necklace on, and she was just sloppy drunk. She had the necklace on when she went out, but when she came home, it was gone. Your Honor, I had one drink and it was stronger than what I expected. I did apologize to him because I did have the necklace on and I don't know what happened to the necklace. But um, I feel like no, no apology, nothing could amount to that because that was a, a very special piece and the only piece of my cousin that I had left. No, I mean, I understand you, I'm sorry, but... I understand. What is that? That's not gonna help anything. Mrs. Bell, you do realize there's not a daggone thing I can do to help you on this because, first of all, you shouldn't have had the necklace on. I thought y'all had the agreement that you were only gonna wear it when he was with you. What happened to that? 
Your Honor, he lost my wedding band. We went to the gym and... Stop. Deflection. Your Honor... You know that. Deflection. We dealing with the fact... This is, for all practical purposes, the grave of his cousin. I understand. That you were wearing around your neck and you lost the body. I understand, but he took my, my ring. Bye, bye, we were bye. going to the... Answer the question, young lady. Yes, ma'am. Have you fully addressed to your husband that you were irresponsible and it's not about what he did and then didn't do and it's about, I messed up, babe. I am sorry. And I apologize. Have you looked your husband in the face and said words to those effects? Your Honor, we both have no, lost things. Honor, nope, you're not listening to me. You're not listening to me because you're not taking responsibility. You're not taking responsibility. Responsibility is, I messed up. I'm not even dealing with what you did. I messed up. And I'm sorry, honey. You're I right, can't Your believe Honor. you lost my I cousin. I messed up, and I apologize, babe, for... Um, How long losing... ago was this? Your Honor, this was about six months ago. Mrs. Bell, this is the first time that you've just said, I'm sorry, and apologized, and took accountability. Your Honor, he For lost my months. wedding band again. again do you hear that? what I'm saying to you? I I'm not dealing with what he did. We'll get to that if that's important. But that is irrelevant to what you did. Okay? Yes, it's irrelevant. It has nothing to do with that. What it has to do with is whether or not you were considered enough of your husband's feelings. This is what we're discussing. So when we get to a discussion on how he's inconsiderate or he's irresponsible, then you can bring that up. But you have to first stand in accountability as a grown woman and a wife. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, ma'am. You owe your man, your husband, an apology for being careless and irresponsible with something that meant something to him. That's what I'm trying to convey to you. I apologize. I was wrong. You know, I just... Honestly, I, at this point right now, I just don't know if I can accept that. Because, you know, just, it's just too much with the carelessness, you know, that, and that's not the only thing. Like, we, um... One night, me and my Before buddy... you get to another story, I want Mrs. Bell to explain to me. Your Honor, we were going to the gym, and I took my ring off because I don't want to have my ring when we're at the gym. So, um, I took it off. He decided to pick it up and put it in his pocket as we go to the gym. We go to the gym, we work out. As we're leaving, I'm like, babe, where's my ring? And he's searching his pockets, digging in his pockets, trying to find out where, where my it ring fell is. out. And it has felt, it fell out. He promised that he was gonna buy me a new ring. That Your Honor, this was Wait, 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 you, nope, you don't get to interrupt her. Go Your ahead. Honor, this was a year and a half ago. I still don't have a new band. Before we got married, Your Honor, we was tanned it up. But after the marriage, it's like, it just, it stopped. So, you know, we're trying to spice things up. We added another woman to the mix. You know, it was her idea. Once again. Why my, my, my jurors are sitting there going, Lord, him, you know this never works. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Your Honor, I honestly say I, I did forget about the ring. No. Did forget Why'd about you the pick ring. her ring up and put it in your pocket? Your Honor, I had my ring on when we was going to the gym. Excuse me, that's her ring. I was gonna she, give her her. Excuse me, that was her ring. She don't like to wear her ring to the gym. And by the way, you got a biased judge here. I don't either. Okay? Why are you bothering her ring? Your Honor, I thought I was being considerate because maybe she'd have been like, oh, babe, I left my ring. You know, so I would have it handy, like, oh, don't worry about it. I got babe, your I back. Babe, I never Here wear my go. ring to, to the gym. She never wears the ring. She don't want to wear her ring. How about you say to her, sweetheart, you left your ring home. Was that intentional? And she go, yeah, it is. I like my ring to stay where it is. You would have put that ring back, and guess what? The ring would have still been there. So now yes, you Honor, lose but it. But she burned, she burned down Excuse the Excuse me, front. you deflecting. What part of we dealing with the ring right now don't you get? You lost the child's ring because you decided to be a busybody. See what I mean? Did you apologize to the woman because you lost her ring? Nope. No, Your Honor. Are y'all married or are we playing games <laughs> here? 
Why haven't you apologized to your wife for losing her ring? Well, I told her I was going to buy another one, y'all. But you didn't. That, well, you know, no, it slipped don't. my mind. Worried about my credit score. He, he said it. It slipped my mind, worried about my credit score. I'm digging into all these other funds to make sure we get back on the right track so you know what? I didn't have time to buy nope, you don't. You know what? <laughs> I'm real cool with... I made a mistake, but I hate slick. Slick is, it slipped my mind I was worried about my credit score, when in reality, it wasn't important enough to you. Just like it wasn't important enough to Mrs. Bell to keep an eye on that necklace that held the ashes of your cousin, her ring and replacing it was not important enough to you. Now, we need to determine why you all have such a level of disrespect with each other that each other's feelings are not important to each other. That's what we need to talk about. I mean, I complimented you in the beginning on how your relationship developed. You dated, you got engaged, you got married, you started your family. But in any of that time period, did y'all talk to each other? Did y'all have any real conversations on how you're going to communicate and how you're going to love each other and how you're going to protect each other or have each other's backs? Do y'all do... Did you do any of that, sir? Your yep. Honor, everything was just... It was good. Your it Honor? just fell into place. It was cool. No it marriages work. And it was... don't just fall into place. <laughs> He's it always picking, Your Honor. It, but it, marriage doesn't just fall into place. You shared with me that you used to be in the military, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Things don't fall into place like that. There are orders, there are rules, there's regulations. Yes, And Your you Honor. made a determination career-wise you were going to follow those, and thus you were successful in your career. Am I correct about that? Yes, Your Honor. A marriage has to be at least as valuable as your career. You know, I saw in my notes, y'all got married to church, didn't you? Yes, yes Your Honor. So somebody said, we're gonna love each other in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad. Yes, somebody sir. said that for richer, for poor. Yes, sir. Why did I just hear all of that happen in front of me? Richer or poor, messed up the credit score. Y'all didn't even pay attention to the rules of the marriage. I just feel like it's been going... It's been taking a downward spiral ever since we got married. What uh, happened, Mr. Bell? Something must have been the catalyst for that. So, you know, one, one, one week and her cousin came over, you know, everybody was drinking and stuff. We were having a good time in the front room. Um, and they got into it for some reason. Now, you know... The cousins had an argument? Yes, her and her cousin. Okay. So, um, you know, and it, 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 all, it all started because we were having... Me and her were having an issue um, in the bedroom. So, you know, we, before we got married, you know, we was, you know... We, it was tearing it up. It was tearing it up. But after the marriage, it's like... It just... It stopped. So, you know, we're trying to spice things up. We added another woman to the mix. You know, it was her idea. Once again. Um, you do realize that never is... A, look, the jury about to pass out. <laughs> Why am I... My, my jurors are sitting there going, Lord, know the you friend. know this never works. Never. But, Have you ever heard of a situation, ever, where a marriage adds a third or fourth person to it and it survives? It does not. Being the divorce court judge yeah. and the divorce court bailiff... Seeing hundreds of cases, we can legitimately tell you it has never worked. Next time on Divorce Court. Well, we wanted to try something new, Your Honor. Okay. And what but happened? <laughs> I think her and, you know, my, my friend is still messing around. You know, her... Is this the third person? Yes. She's a liar. Everybody in the family knows she's a liar. He knows she's a liar. Are we talking your cousin, Unique Owens? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, she's here to testify. It's one thing to have threesomes. You know, y'all doing it together, y'all enjoying it together, but you're going behind his back, still How dealing with the I'm same person. Wait one second, hold on a minute. I don't trust anything she says, so... Well, let's I'm see, because you know I like to see what the evidence is. And me and Di continue to mess around. I'm in love with your cousin. And that's how you coming? Did you ever have an intimate encounter with this young lady separately? That's a very specific question. Made in Georgia.